coming up next, we are going to have Nanu uh, going up against Sam. And uh, let's go and see what the players themselves have to say about this event and their placement here. My name is Sam Finch, and I'm in the top eight. No! It's not going to happen for Brandon. And Sam is going to take it over Brandon with that lead. I started playing, uh, I think, in either fall of 2017 or spring of 2018. I think the achievement that I'm most proud of is managing to get to double-digit 1.2s. It was really recently that I got my first one, and to have already gotten 11 of them and to be able to expect them on good days, that's something I'm really proud of. <laughs> One more, and boom, there max it is. out. Thumbs there up from go. Brendan. My preparation for the top eight has been pretty much the same as it was for the bracket stage. I've just focused on getting better at the game, focusing on the, all the concepts, making sure everything works in my head, and then hoping I can come in on game day. <laughs> Six max outs, 45 minutes of straight tilt, and yeah. still manage six. I don't have uh, very much competitive experience compared to everyone else. So it was my second competitive experience in the bracket stage. And I think I really managed to find that line between playing aggressive and scoring really well and playing too aggressive and topping out. He's got a 1.1 in game against a BV. Damn, and just jumping up and down. He gets the 1.1. Yeah, Winning the tournament to me would be uh, I mean, it would be a miracle uh, just because of the incredible skill level of all the other competitors. But um, if I were to win, it would be really validating because I put in a ton of time and effort into the game and uh, it would feel like I'm finally getting something out of it, which would be really nice. Hello, my name is Stefan Nenu. I'm in the CTWC Top 8. Nenu is going to get the heart, and Nenu will be moving on to the Top 8. Wow. Nenu with the endurance. I discovered CTWC from the Boom 34 Jeff's meme. Like most of us, <laughs> it keeps snowballing until I watch all the CTWC videos. I've been playing for around 3 years. My biggest achievement in any status, I'd say, is my 1.3 million games because only few people, uh, I believe, has done it. But I was so proud too when I first max out the game because I was like the 51st or 52nd person to be able to do it back then in 2019. In previous year, I was just a viewer and wondering if I can somehow one day compete in the championship because I'm on the Indonesia, on the other side of the world and probably can travel to Portland to be able to play. And now I have the opportunity. so. Yeah, it will be amazing. Especially because I got the help too from the community to get a console and everything for me. It will mean so much for me to win the championship. Nenu has three lines to work with here and needs 36,000 points. One Tetris oh. will do it here. And there, oh no, and he brought the, the log bar back. So he needs another log bar and there it is. And Tetris oh. for Nenu. Thanks to my parents to let me take their CRT TV to play. <laughs> Thanks to my brother, my sister, and my friend who support me. All right, All right so here we right go. Off. We're gonna get for the countdown, and of course he's going up against Sam. Uh, Sam, who I love the energy that Sam has during his matches. You're gonna see him talking and, you know, yelling a lot during his matches and such and i love that kind of energy mm -hmm. that he had i was able to commentate his matches to get to the top eight and it's something that i look forward to see what kind of energy he brings here right now yeah that's interesting Ed, uh, right you you covered sam i covered nanu so we'll both be able mm -hmm. to have a perspective on that yeah so here we go let's see uh how sam starts here building up and, high uh, and both of them kind of starting with a little bit of a drought. Okay, not too bad. Here we go. There we go. And uh, but two Tetrises for Nanu, who's starting with the 100% rate right now. But yeah, in the top in the top 64s, we had very very few 
uh, matches where, as you said, it was double elimination. So if you came from the loser side of the bracket, you had to win two sets and get a reset, essentially, yep. uh, in the grand finals of your pool. We had very few situations where that actually occurred. Nenu was one of them. He was able to take the match. Uh, I believe, was it he going up against Sharky, I think it was? Yes, yeah, yeah, Sharky. Uh, Sharky knocked him down to loser's bracket, and then he came back uh, and then had to... Think reverse sweep him in order to uh to win right so. yeah, bracket yeah reset. The, for, the, for the bracket reset exactly and like i said we didn't have very many bracket resets at all so the fact that nanu pulled that off was very very impressive mm -hmm. but of course sam uh like i said you know we we talked about this earlier with cheese with this never say die kind of mentality feel like uh sam very similar in that situation as well and like i said i love the energy that he has and the and you can see the passion with you know right now obviously we're starting early so he's nice and calm right now but trust me once it gets going i'm sure we'll start seeing the, the energy from him mm -hmm. yeah so two players who are really what do you call it, tenacious and uh you know, has those survival skills and you know, Nanu just having all that endurance to play all day long. Uh, so we're only playing a couple of matches. You know, we have a bracket of eight, so uh, that might not be as much of a factor, but uh, definitely I'm going to get to see some good Tetris out of them. All right. Kind of interesting situation. You see that uh, Sam is down by 35,000 points right now. You can see an unfortunate situation for Sam. He's got to try to burn through here. And again, you know, I, I, we're just starting right here, so it's not going to be too bad for him. He'll be able to get out of this, no problem. It's just you're just losing points having to burn out this, burn down uh, the stack this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Nenu's has to catch up. Uh, Nenu 231, now 254 to uh, Sam's 251. So they're neck and neck with Nenu just with a very slight lead now. And yeah, you can see Sam trying not to give himself the... Normally, if you have one of those two gap wells, uh, two deep wells, you want to have it so the L and the J piece can get you out of there. But a lot of the times the pieces force you to create a, a, a single requirement in uh, just either the L or the J. Mm -hmm. Now, I notice uh, Sam's stacking up really high and then it's really keeping it low. So uh, seems like yes. uh, then it's playing safe. Yeah, Sam's stack right now, unfortunately, isn't due to, I think, aggressive playstyle. It's just more that's what the pieces are giving him right, right it now. Right, it that way. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, Sam's Use playing that. one line off the ground there. Mm -hmm. He's comfortable with it, though, so that, yeah. if that's what works. Gets the, get you the points, and at, at the level 18 speed, you know, it's very doable to play at that level. Now he's burned it low enough that he might consider uh, trying to get through there. But, ooh, that's an interesting placement for that eyepiece. Uh-oh. Okay, he's okay right now. Uh-oh, this is bad. The RNG is not favoring him right now. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, perfect! And boom, Tetris for Sam, and he's out there. You There you see the talking right there. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, yeah, able to get the right pieces to navigate that spire. But yeah, that's scary when you've got something sticking up like that. You could you know, hang a piece the wrong way and it'll be over just like that. Nenu right now. Uh, actually, look at this. Sam has actually brought it and they're basically neck and neck. 3,000 yeah, point neck. lead. So... 444 to 447, neck and neck. Yeah, right there. And Nenu here with a little bit, again, uh, unfortunate RNG for himself, but he's managing to handle this. He's gonna have to bust through here somehow. But you can see right now a little bit of an awkward build because of the pieces that he's getting. But uh, like I said, this isn't gonna KO any of the players here unless the RNG gets particularly awful. But again, you're just lacking the score building at this point. Yeah, you know, Nen Nenu in the dig. Uh, Sam jumping into a lead now, 496 to 455. For Nenu, 42,000 points ahead for Sam. Yeah, Nenu still trying to burn through this. I mean, RNG, the top players can overcome the RNG, but right now I can tell you right now from watching Nenu's screen that he is getting some unfortunate uh, situations and he can get himself a dirty That's triple. Pretty, yeah. 
There you go. Get the transition. That's not a good transition there. spot. Yeah. Yeah. He needs to get safe fast. And again, a lot of that, like I said, was just kind of unfortunate. See right there, that gap. Flat okay, burn. that's smart. Yeah. All right. Okay, Good. finally got Good. into that gap. Oof. But again, look at this lead right now from Sam. Yeah, he's at he's easy. at eighty six thousand lead right now. He's at five six nine. Nenu at four eight four. Yeah, so and, Nenu's got a lot of catching up to do. He's almost down. He's just got a couple of burns there. He's his wall is open again. Yeah. And he's gonna just, opt to play aggressive. He's gonna try to turn that into a Tetris if he can. Yeah, but again, the the RNG not favoring him right now. Okay, yeah, there we go. Right. Finally, a clean board for himself. A little bit of a sigh of relief there, yeah, and boom! boom fuck. There you go. And so, but, like I said, at this point in time, with the 133,000 deficit. What Nenu might have to do is just try to play maybe safe and just hope that Sam tops out. Yeah, Sam at 660 now to Nenu's 553. So Nenu's gotta, gotta clean up and then turn on the aggression. Yeah, but uh, this is an unfortunate board for Sam right now. Okay, that... That's probably not cleanable, but... Um, so Sam's yeah. gonna top out with a 130,000 point lead. Sam topping out at 720, Nenu at 599. So Nenu needs to get 721 or so uh -oh. uh, to take the lead and win. So it's a chase yeah. down situation. But remember, level 29, the kill screen. Though people can survive it, it is very hard. So at this point in time, Nenu can try to play a little safe to try to do this chase down here, but at the same time, he needs some Tetrises, and yeah, he's I'm not getting the Tetris Tetris. behind. We'll get him. We'll probably get him the score he needs. Yeah. Uh, so 720, 580 is what Sam's at. Nenu needs like a 721, and he's at 618 now. Is so he gonna go for a dirty uh, well here? A little bit more than three Tetrises ought to do it. Yeah, the pieces are not giving him the opportunity even to chase this dirty well right now. Okay, finally, can he get a Tetris off of this? There we go, boom, Tetris, 64,000 points out. And so now yeah, he's got a clean Tetris. well on the right. And there's another, boom, Tetris for Nenu. One more oh, Tetris. Man. Oh man. Can yeah, this level, this? one more ought to do it. Okay, nice burn right there. There, oh, it, there is. it is! Boom! And there Boom. he goes! He Nenu takes it! Takes the chase down. Nenu takes the first round. Nenu from Indonesia taking the first round calmly at level 28. Just a few, just only eight lines away from the kill screen. Manages to get the lead basically at the last possible second. Nenu, game number one. And like you were saying, the only uh, way for Nenu to catch up would be for Sam to top out and for him to catch up. That's exactly what happened. And Nenu showing that tenacity. Even though he had those intense digs, uh, he was able to uh, pull it off there. Again, you have to... The, the What makes the verses really interesting obviously they're not sending junk to each other as you see in modern tetris games you know modern versus games you're not sending stuff you're not directly affecting each other but you are strategically affecting each other because yes. at that point nanu was so far behind in points he probably wasn't going to overtake in points so his best chance was to survive play safely and then we've seen how the high scores can push someone like Joseph to, to, to play a little more risky and such. So it's still a factor. This head-to-head -head part yeah. is still a major factor. And uh, that's uh, what we noticed about Nenu uh, in the bracket matches. Uh, getting into top eight was that the tenacity, his, able, his ability to survive and then um, do the chase down. Uh, he did a whole lot of that in, in top eight, so, or leading up to top eight. So in top eight that might be a factor all right sam there clearing out needs to get into that gap over there he's looking for the eyepiece he's chasing the eyepiece how long is he going to chase for this because unfortunately look at this drought yeah he had to give up the chase right there and it's a good thing he did because that was a huge drought for him and right now, that's the drought that Nenu is going through right now. But Nenu in a position to get that Tetris. 
Yeah, so Sam, Nanu up right? to an early lead, uh, 94,000 to 57,000 for Sam. Okay. And Nanu stacking a bit high here. Taking a triple, but he's Tetris ready. Boom, Tetris for Nanu. And Sam yeah, firing actually, back. Yeah, there you go. But you can see right now, 38% Tetris rate. Of course, it's only at 31 lines, so we're still early. He can easily build that back up. But 75% Tetris rate for Nenu to give him a 37,000 point lead over Sam right now. Yeah, Nenu up by a Tetris and change. Again, like you said, playing pretty aggressively. And it's going to yeah. pay off, Nenu. I remember this actually now. Was it Nenu who was playing really risky and kind of had to change a little safer? I can't remember now uh, in the top 64. But boom, Tetris for Nenu. And you see Nenu 197, 156 for Sam. Mm -hmm. Nenu with a clever eye tuck there. Nenu with some you know last second adjustments to accommodate for the next piece when he sees it. All right, and clean field and boom Tetris for Sam. Nenu now, uh oh, okay. He's gonna be okay because he's burning down the stack so that column one uh, hole over there isn't gonna kill him. And in fact, he might even be able to transition to a column one Tetris. No, he's sticking with the uh, column 10 Tetris here. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to keep his well open as long as possible. So he was dumping pieces yeah. on the left. And then uh, he's really great with those tucks, so. You know, he can set up something that looks ugly, but you know he'll uh, he'll just start tucking things in, and it'll burn right down. So, what a new strength! Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you know, like I said, it's it's ugly to start with, but you know the tucks that fix it. That's oh what yeah, it yeah, exactly, it's uh, exactly. really fun to watch. And uh, score right now, uh, they knew at three hundred two thousand, and Sam bit behind 298 we're neck and neck pretty much yeah there you go so 49,000 lead right now for nenu with a 69 percent tetris rate but we're running into a bit of a drought over here okay finally the drought is done and sam yeah. here at a 61 percent rate unfortunately but that's still max out pace did i just say 61 percent was unfortunate i mean this is the kind of <laughs> this is this is what these players are doing here you know for the longest of time 60 percent tetris rate is phenomenal and i just i i i literally said unfortunately at a 61 percent tetris rate now they're they're oh. both at a very good pace now um they knew pulling ahead a bit, uh, but Sam have with a slightly better board. Nanu has got like this uh, jagged uh, dependencies going on there, and he's gonna either uh, have to burn that one way or another. Yeah, he's starting to fill up, but again, the the pieces that he's holding out for are exactly not the ones that he needs. So can he survive this? Is this possible here? He needs yeah, something to drop clutch maneuvering there to uh, try to keep his well open uh, but didn't quite work out so he's got to do a couple of burns he's Tetris ready again look at that drought 28 boom Tetris yeah. for Sam and Nenu right now just trying to get himself out of this hole he's oh, again see exactly just that that Z piece is exactly what he didn't need and that's what he got yeah, but both players in a dig phase now. Scores are slowing down. Yeah, again, this is one of those uh, cool mistress RNGs right now for Nenu. But again, the, the ability of a strong player to survive those kind of droughts, it's amazing. And Nenu has dug himself all the way out and the tra during the transition just in time. Yeah, Sam hasn't hit transition yet, but he needs to get his house in order now uh, to be safe when the speed change happens. Playing up pretty high for that, and he's going to need a better piece to fill that in. Hopefully a long bar will do it. You'll get the dirty Tetris. Dirty. Boom! Dirty Tetris in the transition just at the right moment. And now he needs another eye bar. Where is this eye bar? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Boom. 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 Sam, and we are neck and neck uh, into level 19 Ooh. speeds. What a tuck by Sam to keep that board clean. 
We are seeing some high-level Tetris yeah. here. Yeah, and there's some clutch uh, maneuvering by Sam to uh, get that well set up dirty. Oh, he had a slight misdrop there. Let's see if he can clean that out. Okay, that'll do it. He's got to oh, fill that in. Yeah. Uh oh, can't get that over there. Oh, what a, oh, that was beautiful. But then again, he got those Z pieces. That's not what he could. Oh, there was no spot to put the Z pieces. And he and got then two he's gonna of them. That one. Oh, he got yeah, two there of the was... Z pieces back to back, right when like the worst timing possible. And there you go. So that means that Nenu takes game number two to go up two to zero. Five, right. four, three, Eight, two, two, one. One. Tetris. Tetris. All right. So yeah, this is a match point situation. Let's see if Sam makes some adjustments. Uh, but Nenu's been playing, um, you know, pretty solid and. Uh, not yeah, taking he, too many risks. I mean, he, he built up high for a little while there, but you know, he's been really responsible just, you know, keeping safe and uh, then sur out surviving uh, Sam yeah. at this point. Yeah, like I said, I mean, a lot of the times, too, the, 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 the high stacks that he's been building, that many has been building, haven't really, I mean, for both of these players, haven't really been, you know, a lot of decision making uh, for burning out. Because uh, for burning lines, a lot of them have been getting very yeah. burn unfriendly pieces <laughs> yeah the, the pieces seem a little more brutal today i don't know if it has something to do with them getting the same pieces that makes us notice it more but yeah i've seen big droughts and uh just situations mm -hmm. like see there's one right 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 there we can yeah. double yellow drought <laughs> yeah and uh, Sam finally gets that Tetris and fills out that side, but now he needs the L piece, but he got it. And there you go, goes for a little bit of cleaning, playing a little bit safer. Again, burning and playing safe sometimes is not in the cards depending on the pieces that you get. Yeah. Okay, here comes another drought. 23 piece drought here. Yeah, Nenu is just so agile with the, with those tucks. You never know whether he's setting up like a clever <laughs> burn or or if that's a misdrop. Well, he's got to get through over here. You can see right now columns five and six are the problems right now, but that's going to be perfect. But now he needs a J or an I, and there's the I piece. And look at that, the L piece just in time to fill that out beautifully. Oh, what a micro adjustment right there from uh, Nenu as well. Sam playing up real high now. That is super aggressive. I but yeah, he, he needs to dig out to survive. Oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. There you go. Now he just yeah, needs another eye out. bar. But you could see that um, for a while, he was ready for a super dirty Tetris. It's just that that window of two or three pieces he had to to get the long bar it didn't happen. Uh, but he's able to burn it out. But that's super aggressive, risky play there by Sam. Uh, but showing that he's got the skills to uh, pull it off and survive, even if it doesn't work out. I can't believe that, man. That the, These droughts are brutal right now. <laughs> and through all that, I can't even believe we're still neck and neck. Yeah. So yeah, 219 or 207,000 for Nanu versus 216 for Sam. Really yeah. close game here. 52% 50% 49 to 47% Tetris rates right now. I mean, that's what we're at. That's that's crazy, but that just shows you that yeah, the, the pieces have not been friendly for either player. So both of them have had to do a lot of burning. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a beautiful adjustment right there from Nenu. That was so nice to get that eye tuck there in column nine. Wow. Yeah, Nenu loves the eye tuck, and I think the, our audience loves him for it. So, so what a fun player to watch. Mm. And yeah, I mean, as a, you know, a person who plays a lot of modern Tetris here, you can see a lot of the different build strategies from these players to be able to accomplish the things that they're trying to do. It's, it's so much more trying to keep the stack heavy on the left side. And there we go. Boom Tetris for Nenu. So he's getting himself back up to a, a max out pace, as is Sam as well. Both of them just under 60%. And a and set neck. Yeah, there you go. Look at this. Still Simul a 7,000 point lead. Yeah, yeah. on the Simul Tetris. And here we go. Boom, Tetris for Nanu. 
But see, now they're both at 94 lines. So Nenu really at a one Tetris lead. Sam with a bunch of digging he needs to do. Bit of a mess. So he's going to be uh, digging for a while there. And Nenu is probably going to be jumping in the lead with that Tetris. Uh, okay, perfect right there. So Sam is out again. Yeah, so now Sam's, all uh, he's in great shape again. But yeah, Nenu at 399. Sam at 349, now 372, so behind by one Tetris. Yeah, but the thing about it is, look at the line count right now. Nenu is down in lines right now because he uh -huh. hasn't been playing as high, so the pieces have been coming a little bit slower, which means he actually has like about a two Tetris lead right now. So even though the score looks neck and neck right now, actually yeah. Nenu has about a two Tetris lead. There's uh, more scoring potential there. Yeah in those line differentials. And boom, Tetris for Nenu. And yeah, um, transition's coming, so level 19 speeds. Both players have decent fields. Nenu's kind of having to do some burns to get back down to the bottom, but okay. he should she be able to have that clear in time. And yeah, uh, had that's a to go for, Yeah, I had a choice to go for the dirty Tetris. Does nice not decide to do that. Can't get the Tetris off of that, but we'll be here. The transition has happened for both players now, so here we go. It is Sam, level 29 uh, speed. So I'm getting like a back to back there going into uh, 19, so uh, both players just scoring tremendously now, uh, mm -hmm. not letting up one bit. Yeah, but uh, Nano to do a little cleaning, got through there. And Sam trying to get the right pieces to allow him to get this to himself Tetris ready. Finally Tetris ready, but where's the eye bar? There it is. Boom, Tetris, boom, Tetris for, Sam. for Sam. And boom, Tetris for Nenu. And they're really yeah. only uh, apart by four lines. So yeah. really, it, it's right on the line of neck and neck. Yep. Especially with all this burning that uh, Nenu just had to do. So at this point in time, yeah, I think that this is, they are basically neck and neck right now. Even though, like I said, it looks like there's a uh, one Tetris lead for Sam. They're basically neck and neck. And boom, Tetris for Nenu. There we go. Sam opting to take a triple there. Mm. And That's uh, yeah, Nenu doing some burn as well. So see you can uh, come out of... Uh, Compromising on those triples and doubles there. Mm -hmm. And boom, Tetris for Nenu. So now Nenu takes the lead officially here. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Sam needs something to drop down there. Got it. Perfect. Well done by Sam. But now he needs something to get into that column right there. And yeah, look at this. Beautiful dig out. Just put a lot of quick um, movement there. And he needs two eyes. Got a piece. high left side. Yeah, he's got some dependencies going on now. Uh, that S piece was not what he needed. Oh, survival no. now. That's going to be survivable. And Nenu is going to take that one by 2,300 points. Nenu. Nenu didn't think he won that one. He, he actually thought he lost, but just he topped out pretty much at the same time, but it was just ahead by. Just a couple of lines, like a line or two, and uh, that that made the difference. Wow. Oh, man. And Sam man. probably uh, kind of maybe quit too early on that. Um, that that was a situation I, where, you know, just hanging in there and trying to getting try to get another line clear might have made the difference. So uh, that's an unfortunate end to that. But uh, Nenu with the sweep there. Oh man, and you know, one of the things that I love seeing about Nenu is the emotions that he has. You guys can't see it on the stream right now. I still can see a little bit of Nenu he on the camera. so relieved right now <laughs> because he completely thought he had lost. Like, uh, yep. he saw his uh, stack going up, and yeah, he had given up. Uh, and uh, there goes the cam, which uh, in my book is like uh, the official way to rage quit here and see <laughs> Uh, when you're I mean, online. That's, a that's a tough one, man. <laughs> yeah, that, that is a tough one. And, and, and again, this is this is why this is kind of cool that they, you know, that this time they're getting the same pieces. You saw that in all three sets, they were all really kind of suffering there. The pieces were not good. There were so many droughts. And, uh, you know, 
you just saw it right there. Nenu was able to survive and come out of that with, you know, his his more careful, calm play right there. And he takes it and that yeah, last game by and, uh, and <laughs> resulted in a sweep. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to go on. And I think uh, uh, you were commenting about uh, this uh, film that you're looking forward to. So let's hear some words about the palindromists. Uh, from, yeah. From Earth. I, I am a, I'm a huge palindrome fan. Okay, I've loved palindromes uh, for a long time. One of the things that's really cool about this documentary is that they do interview Weird Al Yankovic, who wrote a song called Bob, which is like one of my favorite songs because it's just nothing but palindromes, and it's such a fantastic song. But this is created by uh, Adam Cornelius and Vince Clemente, of course, two of the main CTWC organizers here, along with Trey Harrison, of course. Mm -hmm. But Vince and Adam are making this movie called The Palindromists. And, you know, if you're a fan of like this kind of Tetris competition, they have palindrome contests out there. And so this documentary is going to be delving into the world of palindromes. You know, a palindrome is something that reads the same way forward and backwards, such as, uh, you know, radar, uh, you know, uh, pop, you know, those kind of words like that. Or was hey. it a car or a cat I saw or... You know, cigar toss it in a can. It is so tragic. You know, these kind of things like that. It, you know, there's so many like palindromes are fascinating, and so you can see all about that. Uh, yeah, you know, just, uh, getting exposed to the world of palindromes. You know, is fascinating. Kayak. <laughs> that <laughs> used part. Wow. I mean, the reason why I'm excited, I've tried to make up my own palindromes in the past, and my favorite one that I've made is a uh, Manadeli Garfield. I'm. <laughs> I don't know why Fragile Dan am. That's the one that I created, and I'm really proud of that one. So there you go. There you go. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. But check out this trailer. Yeah, check out the trailer. Right now. A palindrome is a word, phrase, or sentence that reads backward and forward the same. It's the strictest of all constraints. It just seems like such a magic little puzzle. My favorite palindrome that I've written is tons of UFO snot. Stark, rabid, I bark rats! Mr. Owl ate my metal worm. Uzi rat in a sanitary zoo. To the ancients, alphabets were brand new. That was a new technology, just letters that moved around and formed different words. When you had them work both ways, clearly that was magic. Mark Saltvite won the last championship. Devil K fixes trapeze part, sex if yak live. Sex yak. <sighs> I'm the guy who wrote, go hang a salami, I'm a lasagna hawk. I'm the principal bassoonist of the Utah Symphony. Putting them together for my first book, it was addictive. I see everything backwards. It does become kind of a sickness. It, it ends up taking forever to get through with any text. Uh, you know, I'm just always take a pad with me. We will invite top palindromists from all across the country and around the world, and I will give the contestants three constraints, and they will have 90 minutes or so to craft original palindromes, and the audience will vote on the winners. Wow means people like it, and ha huh means to impress This is a one-shot guy. A palindrome with a gun to your head, it's not ideal. I got like all Huns. I did not do well on the sign vote. Competition's really tough. Everyone's gonna have a surprise, and we've never seen how this plays out before. I just wanna you know, make some good ones and let the chips fall where they might. It's something exquisite about a beautifully crafted palindrome. And anyone can sit down, look at a few words, reverse them and see what happens, and you know, you might come up with something brilliant. I think if anything can save our civilization, palindromes can.